536. Hi, David. Hey, how you doing? Welcome. Uh, we don't have any guests except for David. David, I assume you're here for the usual reasons. Oh, yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> are there any uh, agenda revisions or board comments? Any public comments or correspondence? Is there a motion to approve the minutes of May 9th? Which I'll make a motion. Did? Thank you. Second. Seconded by Chris. Any discussion of the draft minutes? If there's none, then everyone in favor of approving the minutes of May 9th, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? I'll, I'll abstain, actually. I wasn't here <laughs> for the meeting. So we basically have one decision, and maybe a short meeting, maybe not. You never know, but uh, we basically have one decision to make. Um, my understanding, since I wasn't here at the last meeting, is that um, there were a couple of options discussed for Article 4. If I understand correctly, uh, the first one uh, which you should have in front of you is to um, say that a school shall not be closed essentially unless approved by both the majority of the Union District Board and the voters residing in the town in which the school is located. My understanding is that there was essentially con consensus on that, uh, in favor of that. And then the second option was to basically the same thing, but to require uh, votes by the board and the voters in two successive years. And my understanding is that the, the straw poll on that one was basically six to five in favor of that, that option. Um, is that a correct account? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, I have a proposal to make if people are willing to entertain it. <laughs> um, here it is. Uh, I have a feeling if I had been here last week, the straw poll would have been 6-6. Six, six. A feeling? A split on the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> on the two successive years. Um, I, I'm kind of in favor of, I like the fact that we, we have consensus on this other option. Um, I, you know, I think that although we do make decisions when we have to, our boards do typically try to find options that you know a strong majority or even a consensus are in favor of. The Union District Board obviously will have the discretion when it is seated to do what it likes with our recommendations. So there will be another opportunity for another body to take a whack at this and change it if they want to and uh, you know, revise this to the other option if that's what they choose to do. But I guess my proposal would be for this committee if there's no objection to um, take our consensus option and make that our recommendation to the Union Board uh, for them to consider. But I'm happy to have discussion and people mm -hmm. want to speak, try to persuade people and, um, yeah, whatever. So. Can you make me clear on um, which one was the consensus one? The two year or the not two year? Yeah, this is what I understood from floor, okay. so again, I just, I, guess I, I, wasn't, I wasn't here and I didn't watch the video, but yeah, my, it was the consensus was that a majority of the Union District Board and the voters okay. residing in the town in which the school is located would be required. Which is option two on this handout. Right. Okay. Is it option two? At yeah, the bottom it, it says option two. Oh, okay, option two. That's why I was a little confused. Option two. Yeah, I didn't okay. see that, sir. Okay. So option two. I, my understanding is that was the consensus. Okay. There was a consensus in favor. So were you going to give us another option? If that were you... The other option is that we discuss it again and we oh, take a, we take a vote. But I, I have a feeling that as the group is constituted tonight, that the my feeling is that option one might not pass if we do that. And even if we had all 12 members of, of this board, it, we would split. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's why I'm suggesting that we yes. go um, yeah. Because our job is to push one forward. And so then that, that new board. We could, we could. My strong preference is for some decisiveness and mm -hmm. resolution of this, but yeah, we could. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. And again, 
some likely members of that new board are here mm -hmm. and can carry the conversation to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just keep the paper for later. There you go. <laughs> so, so we could make a decision, and could the new board change it if they wanted to? Yes. yes. Yeah. Well, these so are only I would only favor that personally, just so we could make a decision. Yeah. Okay. That's my opinion. So it sounds like consensus on the consensus. Okay. <laughs> just, so since there's no objective, objection, I guess we have the language. Yeah, so what I want to say, just so everyone's aware because of the type, and we're going to get into 3.2, but this is leading into 3.2. Okay. So I just want everyone to be really clear. One of the things Chris Leopold and I said was that he was going to create warning and battle language, which mm -hmm. is, is more than what we have right here. He gave you a rough draft of what he thought it would be uh, for the language. Pretty much the language that you see in the packet on uh, pages 17 and 18, and then there was red there, which is the these two handouts. But he's going to start because it's so quick next week. Mm -hmm. That's why I want everyone to understand it is quick. It, it, we're going from a 22nd, and by the 24th, everything has to be done if there's a June 25th vote date. Um, and so we're going to be going, I'm going to be giving him all of this to say create warning and ballot language. Remember each amendment, each individual amendment will be a warned article to be voted on via Australian ballot. So I just, I don't want to, and if there's other questions about how I'm saying that, if I'm not saying that clearly enough, I just want everyone to kind of understand where we're headed because next week is a very compact timeline. So we have to vote by twenty fourth. By the twenty fourth. Any warning? The warning has to be posted. It has to be posted on twenty fourth. Okay. And that's why the new board would meet the night after the election. Yep. And you would have one other night. You possibly could the twenty third if you needed to. When the executive board is meeting. Yep. Because if you don't do that, you lose the twenty fifth, and you're going into. Mm -hmm. You could have a possible election not on a Tuesday, but you're, I mean, 30 days is that Friday. Have we previewed that for the candidates, the importance of these few days on the calendar? Uh, hence why they've had the, what I sent, I gave to you, they've all had um, an email saying this is what the agenda starting to look like. Okay. Um, I can't say that every candidate has that because they haven't been in every entire conversation. Mm -hmm. I just, I, I try to be as comprehensive as possible every time, but I, I can't guarantee that. But we're all getting emails with that, those dates. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. We being all the candidates. For all the candidates. candidates. I think so. I think, yeah. We're looking yeah. at yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, oh yeah, we've been. Even the maybe candidates. Like, right, right, no, it's, it's every, I said to Krista, put everyone on. That's uh -huh. good, should it should be that way. Put it on there, because we it may be that on the Thursday the 23rd, we're coming back to a second meeting. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, you lose the 25th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we want to consolidate all in one day. Yeah. 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 Well, you, either way, I mean, you, you wouldn't consolidate, you'd be putting on another date. And the best day of the week, from what people know as tradition, is Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. So does that change anyone's thinking, or are we? I don't think so. So unless there's any other discussion, that that, that essentially dispenses with 3.1, and we have a finalized set of recommendations on amendments to the articles of agreement to to make to the new board, which is great. That's been about six months in the making. So I just want to express my appreciation for that being that being that being done. Okay, uh, so we'll move on to 3.2, which I think is, I'll let you. Yeah, I, I just, this is one of the things that um, I'll tell you, I want to tell you organically how this came about. Lori and I have been having agenda maps for a month, and just a week ago we kind of said, hey, we need to put this on each piece of paper, what agenda starts to look like. Um, and we've been doing it for transition meetings and for the WCA. So, 
I will tell you as you go from the 22nd to the other weeks, you'll see they start to get thinner, but it's because I don't know what else is coming. <clears throat> I think there will be more things added on. This is what we can foresee as of Monday this past week. Um, but, you know, as I've been saying all along, the two things that the, trans the new merge board needs to get set to start July 1, there's a lot of operational things we need, both the, either the transition board or the uh, WCUUSD board. Uh, there's some operational agreements we need to sign off on, but the big things that are budget and policies, because there won't be any existing policies. And the least amount of policies are the required policies by state and federal statutes. The nice thing is most of our, all those policies are common except for one, and I don't remember what it is, so don't ask me which one it is, um, across all the entities. Then we get into other policies and things like that. So those are the big pieces to get to. We, as you all know, we've been taking a minimalist approach. What's the minimum we have to have to get the organization up and running? Mm -hmm. So this is what we can see right now. Um, at this point, we have a big to-do list that's actually really getting smaller, which is nice. And I was noticing on this and the one, that, I guess it's the same one Chris just yeah. but it says six o'clock. Is that a new? So I'm just doing that at the first meeting okay I pick the normal time when usually boards in this SU meet somewhere between 5 30 and 6 o'clock okay take a random sample and we'd be all lower yeah so I just picked 6 o'clock on May 22nd to post for a call for that first meeting and uh, Mary Armsby is going to be there to do a swearing in and seating of everybody with forms so people don't have to run all over the place it's just going to be right there and that's and our articles of agreement allow us, allow her to do that, and plus she's a justice of the peace. Not JP, she's a notary, so she needs to be. Because the clerk can be the one to swear in. Bill, these are meetings for the transition board, not the new. This is for the new board. This is for the new board. There's a transition. This sh I don't as, as far as I understand, this will be the last meeting of the transition board. Okay. Can I ask one clarifying question mm -hmm. on that? Because I'm looking at this is Article 9, yeah. 1, which is the duties of the transitional board. Right. So it says, prepare a draft of the proposed fiscal year 2020 budget for the new union district, which the transitional board shall provide to the new union district board for consideration at the first meeting of the new union district board. Yeah. So I assume that by uh, voting to approve a recommended budget to them, that we basically accomplished that. You've accomplished that. If you feel you need to be there, please be. But I feel that you've done that by what you've done, and there's such a transition. All right, let me say that differently. <laughs> uh, there's such a membership. There's a number of members here that will be on that board that understand what has happened. And so, um, you know, we're putting together. I just wanted to be sure there was no expectation that the members were just not that I know, not that I know of that that's required. I know some people have done to that formality. Um, and in terms of this outline, this is basically just for us to look at and see. I'm uh, trying to communicate so people aren't ta taken by like surprise. Right. Uh, here are the things that I start to see happening. There could be many other things that that happen that I'm not aware of sitting here today. There could be conversations that want to go over, and I, I could think there definitely will be about how the board wants to operate and governance and, and all that. I just couldn't foresee that, so I just put that on the first agenda. Mm -hmm. um, and that's with no pre, um, with any thought of how it's going to land. I just put it there to put it. Well, it's there. typical after an election, for right? The first and year. this is the first first board, and most of the boards that have merged. In Vermont, those conversations go on for usually quite a bit of the first year. So. Sorry. Are no. the um, individual boards then are dissolved as of the election day? No. So because of the judgment that hasn't officially? No. 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 At the end of the year. At the end of the school year. Okay. Yeah, and the draft article and the uh, default articles agreement. Okay, so that's June 20th? No. It's December 31st. Yeah. Okay. January, 
right. And different. what is the role of the, the individual school boards after June May 21st? July 1. July. It actually yeah. goes to June 30th. The local boards have the authority that they maintain their authority, and it's July 1st that it transitions over to the new board. Um, but but then they stay in effect till just you said December thirtieth. No, December thirtieth. Auditing for, for audits. Okay, and so the local boards, even after the election of the W Crest yeah. board, yeah. still has control of the school. Yes. Okay, sorry, that's been a little unclear for me. What? Which is which? Yeah. All right. Okay, so I don't know if any, but I mean. This is just for reference, I guess. This uh, yeah. So is, it, is there any discussion on the? And I would take any other items people see. Something I guess if anybody, yeah, if anybody in the transportation board sees another item that should be added to the agenda, provisionally or yeah, if you see something that for the new board or something, we should we should do. Share your calendar if they're talking about. Yep. Oh, Sorry. here. Or do you have extra stuff? I'm just having a mm -hmm. hard time following. Thank you. If there's another one, I'll say whatever. 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 i and this is, can I, oh, sorry. Sorry. this is only the schedule for the Washington Central Unified Union School Board. I don't have carousel meetings on there or right. the SU board meeting for the potential hire or the interim superintendent. I just didn't, I only did, this one is only specific for that board. We have other calendars that have all that. Uh, this is every Wednesday, Mark. Yeah, and I don't know if it's going to be every Wednesday. I mean, I just, I didn't want to make any assumptions, and same Wednesday is an assumption as well. I could see once a week, I could see we skip some. So we do have an item on the action agenda. I guess that makes sense. Uh, I should have done this under 3.1. Um, I guess we haven't had a formal motion to recommend uh, the articles of agreement as drafted to the WC and the USD board. Um, so is there anyone who would like to make that motion? I can make that motion. Uh, Lisa, do you need me to repeat that? Yeah, please. To approve the recommendation of articles of agreement as drafted. Okay. Are you going to specify which option? Option two? No. For a number well, I think we, because the minutes will reflect that we had consensus on that. So I, I guess I'm yeah, including okay. that in the as drafted. Okay. Fine. Just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And may, may of course, some friendly language. I would say amendments to the articles of agreement. Okay. Are approved because you're not approving the whole default articles. You're mm -hmm. approving those amendments. Yeah. And so, those appear on as they appear on page 17 and 18 with the addition of option two for article four. <laughs> He made it simpler, Lisa. Uh, sorry, Lisa, but I think, I think, I think in this, my recommendation to this committee, to this board, is that specificity is actually better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I will, I will repeat that. Uh, so Carl's motion <laughs> is to approve the recommendation of amendments uh, to the default articles of agreement. Um, to the UC, the WC UUSD board, uh, as drafted on pages 17 and 18 of our uh, board packet, uh, with the addition of option two for Article Four. Okay. Yeah. Second. Yes, thank Much you. Better. Is there any discussion of the motion? <laughs> Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Thank you. There are no future agenda items. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I guess I will just close by thanking everybody for serving uh, as brief as it was. And I appreciate everyone's um, 
input and contribution and, and above all time invested in this, this process. Um, Thank you. So if there's nothing else, we will adjourn at 556. Now I'm going to have to make dinner for crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs>